we are. Perth, Claserbrook. Beautiful morning, 7.30. Today, day two of the road trip, epic road trip. I'm on the road from York to Queridin, about halfway, and having very strong headwinds, managing about 12 kilometers an hour. There's my stats for you. The GoPro can do his work and read that. Yesterday was a bit of a rough evening in York. Campsite was useless. Microwave didn't work, didn't have a dinner, but to make up for it, I didn't have to pay. All right, gonna press on to Queridin. See ya. Camper's kitchen in Queridin. It's pretty nice. It's basically only me here and the caretaker on the site. With the beast waiting to be stirred. campers. Here we are in Yaliring, just having my breakfast. Got the campsite to myself. There's only a couple of other guys who are traders that were staying here and they've gone to work. Campsite's pretty basic. 17 bucks. Luckily the uh, workers told me that there's a Donner kitchen in here. So, thank God for that because now I can have had a cup of tea and toast and stuff like that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known about it. So that's good. All good. Slept on the uh, footy oval last night <coughs> because everywhere else, as you can see, yeah. I like to put the tent in the sand. And I haven't done that with my new tent yet. It's getting the VIP treatment at the moment. Here we are, God's own country. Going to Wickerpen, 10 k's down the road. Bit of field, so dry out here.
Good day. Had all sorts of dramas with phone reception on this uh, Telstra Beyond plan, so um, I managed to cycle up this hill, which is about the highest point around, and I got one bar. So I've decided to camp here for the night. I'm at 33k's from Katanning and 16k or so out of Dumbuyong, where. Um, Donald Campbell did his world water record. I have to find out a bit more about that. Anyway, this is quite a nice little spot. It's uh, open. I'm just in the middle of putting a tent up at the moment. Not much to eat for breakfast. Butter's hard, so I can't have some nice bread. Might just have to do with Vegemite. On the bread and Uncle Toby's muesli bars. We look outside, it's a bit cloudy, not too bad. It's getting brighter, it's a bit nippy. So there is some droppings, it must be. Kangalupu. It's quite fresh that one. Just show you this uh, grass tree. Yesterday on our ride it was shimmering. It still is shimmering. Must be a happy tree, look at it. That makes your eyes, does your eyes in, doesn't it? <laughs> Amazing. Oh well. All packed up. Time to hit the road. Out to Katanning. Oh yeah, this is the camp kitchen in Katanning, the campsite, pretty good eh? I spent the day resting up and got plans for the next few days. Tomorrow's a small town where I shall camp. I think they've got a good new campsite, that's what I saw online. And then um, after that two days in the National Park, Stirling Range Park, that will be basic. Then a night at Pongarups, and then maybe next day I'll be in Albany. So um, the weather forecast, they're forecasting rain, but perhaps on Sunday evening, on Monday and Tuesday. So I just fingers crossed it doesn't happen. There's quite a big uh, Asian community here, um, but the place I had breakfast, they they buy. Uh, food from a Malaysian lady, so curry puffs and murtabak. So I, I've packed myself some curry puffs today to have on the road, which is nice. And then I met these two Jehovah Witness ladies who were very, very sweet. Um, and they t they told me about this this road out to Nara Nara, which is north of the Sterling Ranges. Um, they said I can go this way, which is a quieter road than going down the Great Southern Highway. Oh yeah, on the road to Stirling Ranges. I can actually see them with the naked eye, but on this wide angle GoPro, you probably can't see anything. They're right down there on the horizon, jagged peaks, exciting. It must be something like 100 k's almost away, 80 100 k's. Just go through a bit about the bike. So I've got a solar panel on the front on my basket. Inside the basket is a 
power pack is being charged up so I can charge my phone, my cycle computer, which is on the top there, and uh, the GoPro bits and bobs. The basket is good because um, I can put a loaf of bread in there and it keeps it out of the sun. So, and then bags, I'm trying a new setup. Put the, I normally have the black panniers on the back, I've put them on the front so I've got a bit more room. Um, it's not bad, maybe it's a little bit heavy. So I tried to put the lighter stuff in the front, um, but yeah, it's, it's all right on the open roads, but around town where you've got narrow spaces, it, it's a bit wobbly. Then I've got my um, seats, uh, little stool there, so when I need a break, I can just uh, stop by the roadside and uh, sit down. And then the bike's got two stands. That is another, that is so good, must have item, because you're just going to go mad leaning it against trees or posts or something all the time. And having these two stands means when I camp at night, I can basically leave the bags on the bike. It's another nice thing, they don't have to go on the ground or, or uh, you know, to hitch them back up, they're always on the floor. And then I got this uh, new saddle bag paradise bag which is good as well um, it's a big one so I could stuff full of loads of stuff and then I've got my stuff sack on the back which is pretty good for the thermo rest and um, I also put the pot tent poles in there and the flip-flops it's good all those long things that uh, difficult to stow nicely stowed away I've put some new handlebars on it as well um, about a month ago these are compact bars trying to get a flat position so that it's sort of comfortable all the way across the top I'm not sure if I quite achieved it I think I've maybe put them up too high you can see look at the angle of the the drops there they're a bit steep then I got the um, mirror I've got two mirrors Got my helmet mirror, which you can maybe see as well. It's brilliant. Helmet mirror is really good. It's very clear, and it's I think it maybe magnifies a bit, so uh, it's it's really super clear to see uh, stuff coming from behind a long distance off. Um, I think that's about it really. Um, just an idea what's in the bags, electricals, um, bathroom type stuff in there. Um, food, that's all food, trangia, cooker, tent, sleeping bag, clothes. So it seems to work quite well like that, splitting it up like that. We're in the great southern of West Australia. I'm about 150k from Albany, heading south. Just out of uh, now anger up, heading to the Stirling Ranges. Hopefully you can see them. 
there look magnificent to the left there that's uh, Bluff Knoll is probably on the left hand side maybe that uh, pointy one at the very end it's around there somewhere and then over to the right in the middle anyway is the other part of uh, Sterling Ranges and then the hills to, to the right are and they are further set further back than uh, Stirling Range. They're, they're probably behind it by about 30 k's. So it'll be straight on for me to go down to Albany and the Stirling Ranges. Well, here I am. I'm closing in on the Stirling Ranges. I don't want to get too close all of a sudden. I want to get a few shots coming in. So it's taken, uh, this is the eighth day of riding from Perth and uh, probably something like 560 kilometers or so to get here but uh, it's nice to see some mountains it's uh, I mean in WA there ain't any really here we go having a brew with a view using my trusted Trangia stove so I do all my meals on runs off methylated spirits it's fantastic it's fantastic for hot meals used it for decades it's still going strong wonderfully well designed it's got comes with uh, Two pots, kettle, a lid which is uh, can be used as a frying pan, and still waiting for me tea to brew. But brew it will, I can guarantee that this thing never blows out. It just loves the wind, in fact. I think I should go and check this Mount Trio bush camp out in Caravan Park because it's just 2Ks. If I don't do it now, I never will. This is the Mount Trio camper's kitchen. Very rustic on the farm. Nice, isn't it? 15 bucks for me to stay here for a night. <coughs> this is a camping area. Good, uh, the old cooking, gas stove, seen a bit of grime, a bit of action, and then we got two sets of uh, fridges and sinks and toasters, and then there's this chillax room down here. Okay, well, just looking at my route for today. The plan is I'm here somewhere, it's river, Salt River Road, in this camp, Mount Tree is around right there. I'm going to go back to the main junction up this road, which is probably uphill. And then I'm going to go to the Stirling Range Retreat where we've got a cafe, have some food and then attempt to cycle to the base of Bluff Knoll Car Park and back and then camp here at this campsite here. kilometer and a half of climbing and now I'm just at the entrance of the park. 
Dealing Range National Park. This is an eight kilometer road that leads to the car park where you climb. See how far we get. I've had to take my bags off because it's so steep I'm really going to kill myself I've hidden them in a bush I'm about 2k now or one and a half and there's a massive steep bit coming up again I'm almost close to my limit. All right, I made it to the car park bloody stubbornness so steep must have been 15 20 percent just had to stop twice and go sideways to get going again Good morning. I'm on this Chester Pass road headed to Pongarups. That's the Pongarups so down there. Stirling Range Park's about 10 k's back. I've left that. This road is a uh, major uh, road train route and it's narrow and twisty and there's probably one big road train every uh, 10 minutes or so. Chester Pass Road at last, and I'm going into the Pongarups. Looking forward to getting off the bike and getting warm. A dark old grey day. Hello there. I'm at the Pongarups campsite. This is my uh, going to be my second night, so I decided to have a rest day today. Had a nice time here. I met a German couple um, who cycled from Germany to Singapore, and uh, they're now two weeks in Australia. They um, bought a car and are going to uh, driving to from Perth to um, Cairns. So it's interesting catching up with them. They got a bit of information on tents and um, 
editing uh, for like, GoPro videos. Good morning. Well, after two nights in the Pongarups, I'm uh, headed off to Albany. Just stopped a little bit from the campsite just to show the, the growing grape region. Got some small boutique vineyards. It's quite a pretty place, like I was saying. It's softer, obviously a lot softer than the Stirling Ranges. And uh, there's quite a community around here, quite a trendy alternative lifestyle type place, I guess, like Margaret River. Cross over, I got a truck coming behind me on a crest. The tactic I like to use a lot is I can stop and pull over if I need to. If I had another one coming, I might have to pull over. Is it something coming head on? Yeah, here we go. So I'm pulling over. Playing it safe. I'm going to camp over the other side of the bay there, somewhere. Got okay. And nice and warm in the tent, it's raining outside. I've reached Panorama Caravan Park. And I'm camped literally about five meters from the water's edge. Morning. Well, after a crazy evening of heavy rain and massive winds, today looks calmer. That's the view from the tent. Sunrise coming up over Albany. Not bad, huh? today today than what we had yesterday. Hello again. It's dinner time. Today is a much better day than yesterday. Yeah, it's absolutely calm out on the water. Tonight I've cooked rice and lentils and carrots. Uh, again, salt and pepper, olive oil, chilies, stock cube, this is a staple of mine, it takes a while to cook and then you have to wait 20 minutes for it to cool down, it's a good hearty meal, <coughs> good for the guts, so bon appetit. My touring journey is more or less over apart from I might cycle around a bit and have a look at some of the interesting places like the Gap in the whaling station.